Hello again, and thank you for joining us on TVC Midday News. We begin in the nation's capital, where the chairman of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government, President Bola Tinubu, has affirmed the regional bloc's steadfast commitment in supporting the people of Niger's journey towards peace and democratic stability. The Nigerian leader emphasized that the remarkable outcome of the summit which authorized the standby deployment of ECOWAS troops to restore constitutional order in the Nigerian Republic. We have details in this report. ECOWAS is ready to walk the hard way, if it is the only way to restore constitutional order in the Niger Republic. It seems the sanctions slapped on the landlocked West African country has not yielded much and does not seem to bother the military coup leaders in Niger. These punishments imposed on the regional bloc are still in effect, but it seems this time the option of the use of force is real, as ECOWAS orders the activation of the standby defense force with the possibility of deployment to restore constitutional order in the landlocked country. Call on the African Union to endorse all the decisions taken by the ECOWAS authority on the situation in Niger. Further call on all partner countries and institutions, including the United Nations, to support ECOWAS in its effort to ensure a quick restoration of constitutional order in conformity with its normative instruments. Direct the President of the Commission to monitor the implementation of the sanctions. Order the deployment of the ECOWAS standby force to restore constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. We proceeded to impose... President Bola Tinubu, as chair of the authority of ECOWAS heads of state and government, is also committed to still keeping all options on the table. We still look to engage the party involved in earnest discussion to convince them to relinquish power, as suggested, and reinstate present person. The ECOWAS heads of state and government were emphatic in stating that the resolutions reached and sanctions imposed on the Niger Republic are a collective decision of the regional body and not influenced by a single member state. They all agree that coup d'etats will henceforth be resisted in the region. The decision that we have made today, and I hope it will be implemented immediately, we have sent delegation to talk to the people of Niger. But they're hosting, they're keeping President Bazoum as a hostage. I personally consider this as a terrorist act. The coming days will be decisive as ECOWAS activates a standby force. It also remains to be seen how the military coup leaders in Niger Republic will respond to this next line of action by the regional bloc. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.